In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to send actual sensor data to the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging. A complete step by step guide how to send sensor data to the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging can be found at this location. The source code used in the guide can be found at this location. These are the four JavaScript files which I will be using in this video. This guide explains in detail how to format the micro SD card, how to install and set up the Raspbian operating system on the micro SD card, how to access the Raspberry Pi from your computer using VNC Viewer, how to install Node.js on the Raspberry Pi, how to connect the DHT11 sensor module on the Raspberry Pi, how to install the BCM 2835C library on the Raspberry Pi. This library is needed for the communication between the DHT11 sensor module and the Raspberry Pi. And how to install Git on the Raspberry Pi. The last few steps of this guide will be demonstrated in this video. After you have done all these steps, you will end up with a Raspberry Pi where a DHT11 sensor module is attached. This is the DHT11 sensor module. This module measures humidity and temperature. This is the module in close up. This module has three pins. The order of these pins may differ in your situation. If you have done all the steps described in the guide, you will end up with a micro SD card where all the software is installed. And this is the Raspberry Pi 3 model B version 1.2 in a transparent case to protect my Raspberry Pi. To power up the Raspberry Pi, you use this power cable and attach it to this connector. And this is the HDMI connector to connect your Raspberry Pi to a monitor. And these are USB connectors to connect, for example, a mouse or a keyboard. You can connect your Ethernet cable to this connector. Please note a Raspberry Pi 3 has Wi-Fi built in. Let's start the demonstration. The sensor module is attached to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi is powered up. Now let's log in into the Raspberry Pi. I've opened the VNC viewer. I enter my Raspberry Pi IP address. I enter my Raspberry Pi username and password. First, let's clone the project. As you can see, the project is cloned. Go to the project folder and enter npm install. Now all necessary dependencies are installed. Now let's store some random numbers to the Tangle using mask authenticated messaging. Enter node mem underscore publish.js. As you can see, data is published to the Tangle. Copy this root and open a new terminal window. Go to the project folder and enter node 
map underscore receive dot js followed by the copied root. And as you can see, the stored data is now retrieved from the tangle. But you can also use this tool to view the data. Select data receiver, select this endpoint and this channel mode, enter encryption key my secret and paste the root. The encryption key, channel mode and testnet are hard coded in the JavaScript files. Press the button Start Receiving Data. As you can see, the same data is retrieved from the tangle. To stop the scripts running, press the buttons Ctrl Z. Now enter node sensor.js. This JavaScript file displays the temperature and humidity measured by the DHT sensor module and displays it on the screen. Stop the script. Clear the screen. Enter node mem underscore sensor.js. This JavaScript file publishes the DHT11 sensor data on the tangle using mask authenticated messaging. Copy a root and go to the other terminal. Paste the root and run it. As you can see, the sensor data is retrieved from the tangle and displayed on the screen. You can do the same with this tool. Select data receiver, select this endpoint, select restricted mode. The encryption key is my secret and paste the root. Press the button start receiving data. It also displays the stored sensor data. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.